what's going on everyone hope you're all doing well and in this video we're going to talk about how bad habits suck and how they really do ruin your life all right well maybe that was a little exaggerated but essentially bad habits right once you develop a habit and whether it's good or bad it kind of sticks with you and once you get this stick sticky little habit all uh, attached to yourself and attached to your little brain you kind of just you treat it as a as a secondary breathing option, right? You do it so often, you do it without even thinking about it. And like I said, if it's good, then it's a good thing, right? And the habit could be as simple as going to the gym every day and working out. That, that's a good habit, right? You know, take rest days, obviously. Have um, the right amount of protein. Have you know, uh, the, uh, uh, the the appropriate amount of calories. And uh, rest, you know, rest as much as you can. There you go. You get yourself a gym habit. Something that's good for you and something that's keeping you productive and, you know, allows you to not stray too far away from a healthy lifestyle. And bad habits like eating cookies every single meal, right? Uh, instead of eating, you know, regular food, you have, I don't know, six cookies a meal in addition to chocolate shakes every two days, right? Those are bad habits because not only are you spending money to get those uh, and you end up just spend, wasting time and money putting in effort into something that's not giving you any benefit. It's not even going to increase your... Uh, your your mood or anything it's just going to hinder your body's performance to do well and that's a good example of bad habits right a bad habit is something that's negative and that affects you in a way that you don't want it to but you do it so often that the bad habit becomes second nature to you and uh being able to get out of a habit in itself is such a damn challenge because once you're into something that you do so often so frequently telling your brain to hey maybe i shouldn't do this today and go do something else can drastically alter your mood, right? It can really change the way you think about the day, about your life, about the week. It, it can just change your mood, and it's like a mood swing because it, the bad habit is an addiction, right? And we call bad habits bad because they're usually directed towards something that's negative in your life, something that is something something that doesn't provide you value, but it's still pleasuring right you can receive physical pleasure from drinking chocolate shakes every single day but you know the the caveat to that is high blood sugar right cholesterol issues and diabetes potentially and and obesity if you have too much of one thing your body's going to suffer for it and you're going to suffer as well and then you're not going to want to try to get better because oh i'm i have this unbreakable habit of eating unhealthy and this and not working out in addition to that i'm also throwing away all my money and i guess my bad habit at least right now is uh consuming monster energy drinks and i know how that sounds right some people really do th drink these things three times a day and they see no problem with that and me i have one every once in a while i try not to have them every day because like i said they're bad for you and I don't drink enough water, which is another bad habit of mine that I need to start, you know, training myself to do. I got to drink more water because water is good. Monster is bad. We don't like monster. It's bad for you. Yet I can I continue to drink them because it's a bad habit that I've developed. And it's almost like an addiction, right? A bad habit is is more closely related to an addiction than a good habit is right B good habits are like being sober and um you know from a younger audience uh, if you don't drink alcohol or anything like that then you're not going to get the reference but essentially you know when, when you do something you like so much uh, and it's bad for you you're not really going to feel guilty about it until one until you start noticing something like until you get like an eye-opening experience right people some people i've seen uh who are like obese and have you know candies cookies every single day they can they'll get like a heart attack right they'll be saved by the doctors and then they realize oh that's a wake-up call i should probably you know start getting into shape and you know avoid uh, all sugary unnecessarily sugary things to you know prolong my lifespan and so they go on this like main character journey where they <laughs> they pretty much get themselves all uh, souped up and uh, healthy again, and and it's almost like they uh, they recover they recover completely, right? And, and then they don't ever touch another piece of sweets, and or they do, but it's very controlled, and they don't uh, have an addiction to it. And uh, a good habit of mine that I'm going through right now is less sweet treats, I guess. Like every time I go shopping, I always look at the sweet treats. But then I remember that a lot of treats that I used to like as a kid taste weird now, right? They've gotten more and more processed and they're less desirable and less 
good to eat. Uh, and that's because my taste buds have shifted, right? As a kid, you just kind of eat whatever. You don't really care. But when you get older, you start becoming, uh, you know, some people say you become less picky as an adult. But I've noticed that I've become a little more picky, mainly because, at least towards, you know, sweets and treats, because uh, as a kid, I, you know, you, you just devour any sweets and treats. You don't really care what it is, where it came from. As long as it's good, it tastes sweet, and it makes you have, like, energy rush, then it's it's equals good, right? It's 100% positive and good for you. Uh, not actually, but you know what I mean. Whereas I'm an adult now, and I'm looking at, like, at a pack of cookies. Not only do they cost a lot, but it's like... Every time I eat these cookies, I don't gain the satisfying feeling and sensation that I used to get as a kid when eating these. So then it, that's kind of my deterrent is uh, I just like I'll look at them. I'm like, these sound so good. And then I just think a little bit more about them. And I'm like, yeah, as much as I would love to scarf these down, they're not going to bring me any joy or satisfaction. Everyone, you know, if you crave them once in a while, mm, they're pretty good. You know, I'll, hey, I haven't had these in weeks. I'm going to, you know, have a small pack and eat them and. And usually by then you're you'll you'll be nice and full and you won't want to have them again for another two weeks. It's kind of like a, the whole little Minecraft phase that people go through, right? The people will will devour Minecraft for weeks on end and then they'll stop and they'll go on this hiatus from the game for months and then they'll come back and then they'll go on a hiatus and you know so on and so forth. And that's the same for food and sweets and treats. Right? You don't want to eat hamburgers every single day because why would you? There's just no reason to. Uh, again, that goes down back to the whole you know bad habits, bad habits, you know, spending money on something you don't need. Uh, and you know you keep spending even if it's like three dollars, it does add up and that's a bad habit, right? Going somewhere, going to pick up a monster energy drink for me, it's like two dollars two or three dollars for me and I'm like, spending two or three dollars when i could be pocketing that money and some of you are going to say well that's just pocket change you know it's no biggie no harm but when you're doing it all the time because you start losing self-control you start to really notice that two or three dollars does make a difference because it adds right two or three times i don't know like five it's fifteen dollars and then that that 15 times four because you're doing it every like all the time a week and you're doing it four times a four times a month, and that's that's once a week or twice a week. Who knows, right? And it just gets worse and worse, and you don't really want to deal with that. So what you end up doing is going on this like spiral. And me, I gotta sober up from these damn monsters because that you know I used to drink them for the benefits of uh, having an adrenaline rush and having all this energy uh, to power through the day, but. Honestly, I've recently just like I've just drank them now for what tastes and they honestly don't even taste that good. I've had people, I've had friends and family say they taste like motor oil, but I I like the taste of them, but I'm not gaining anything from them like I was before. Like the caffeine and the sugar high was uh, was pretty prominent and was allowing me to to power through the entire day. Now it's just I'm drinking them and almost like I'm drinking water, right? They're not bringing me any uh any kind of special feeling i'm not getting a dopamine from them so i gotta stop drinking them i you know and uh, i try to make it fair for myself and uh, fair for the for the stupid bad habit by making it a coin flip you know if i'm feeling like a monster i'll i'll go on to a little coin flip on on google and i'm like okay heads for monster tails for no monster flip a coin if it lands on heads i'm like well damn i guess i gotta go get the monster but if it lands on tails, and I'm like, okay, well, no monster today. And, um, you know, I try not to crave them. I just, I, I can't associate monster with something negative right now. And I, that's what I need to learn to do is associate the monsters to something negative. And it kind of goes back to, it goes all the way around, right? It orbits right back to bad habits and how they suck. They ruin your life because you can do a, a bad things, right? The bad habit doesn't have to be simple as drinking monster. It could literally be doing like, you know, the bad stuff, right? You could be doing bad stuff that's not good for you at all that could kill you if uh, if not regulated. And I mean, and no kinds of drugs and whatnot can be regulated. If you're doing that stuff, you got to quit it. You got to find help, seek therapy, because that stuff is dangerous. That stuff will kill you. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, that's, uh, that's all I got from me for now. I uh, just want to talk a little bit about bad habits, how they suck, and how you should try to break the uh, the iceberg or break the ceiling of the bad habit. Get out of there while you can because bad habits can trap you into this uh, never-ending vortex of pain and misery. And uh, debt, right? Debt is a big thing. You know, we all love money. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.